thanks everybody uh, for inviting me to the event. I wish I was there in person. Uh, it looks like there's a beautiful skyline in the background with a lot of blue in it, and uh, unlike where I am right now. But uh, hey, thanks a lot. Obviously, uh, Rob Nowakowski, a, a Qualcomm employee, uh, happy to be working with that uh, awesome company for 24 years. And and uh, uh, as you know, I'm a reservist, uh, been in the Navy for uh, for almost 30 years back in 90, 1992. So so I, what, I just want to take a couple minutes. I know you guys are probably having lunch right now and uh, just uh, uh, go over a couple talking points. And one is I just want to thank everybody for for uh, what you do um, as far as ESGR goes. I've been, uh, again, working at Qualcomm for a while, but I've had the opportunity to work with a lot of the uh, volunteers and, and pay a couple of the paid employees there. Uh, and I just want to call it a couple of names to say thank you for what you do. Um, you're very important for, for the Department of Defense and, and really our nation to make sure that our employers and our, and our reserve and guards are, are, are really at the, at the hip to working together along this path. So, so I want to call a couple of Jim Combs and I wish I was there to say hi and Phil, congratulations on your, uh, your new position. I wish I was there to say hi. Uh, uh, Harold Elkin, uh, I think I think we need to hook up here, you know, do a couple, do a couple greens, uh, maybe go to Pendleton again. But I just want to thank Harold for all the work you've done with Qualcomm. You're our, our definite advocate and uh, miss seeing you. I look forward to seeing you in the next couple of weeks when I'm back in San Diego. And Joe Biscacci, you're amazing, and I know you do a lot of work, uh, you know, as, as a in the organization for many many years. I just want to say thanks. Um, I really appreciate your, all your support as well. And, and Patrick, Coca, I can't see who's in the audience, but I know Patrick uh, may or may not be there. I think he's over in Arizona. But um, hold on. So uh, I'm actually at the Reserve Center. Oh, there's an announcement going on. Give me a sec. Real world stuff. There you go. Real world stuff. Um, reserve is going to work. And um, and then Patrick Morrissey, I know you you do a lot of work comms and, and public affairs, so thank you for what you do as well. And and you know I don't have time to thank everybody, but thank thank you for what you do for this great organization. And again, I wish I could be there in person. The second thing I, I just wanted to thank all the awards and congratulate all the awardees, the other companies that are there. Um, you know we all rely on one another to uh, to you know help our reserves and guards, and 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 we all benefit from the SGR. And so I just wanted to say thanks to all the awards. I wish I was there to thank your hand and hand out a couple of challenge coins, but congratulations on everything you're doing and, and really appreciate your support of the, of the Garden Reserve and the relationships that you have with, with ESGR, a uh, phenomenal organization that we, that we all rely on. Um, and also I wanted to thank a couple, couple of my employee, employee mates or colleagues or fellow veterans there. I know uh, Mike Sapos is, is there. And so Mike, you know, uh, I get a little choked up, actually. I, I really, really, really look up to Mike. He's uh, been the president for, for the Qual, uh, Qualcomm Veterans team for many, many years, and he does a, it's a great job. So I hope you guys get a chance to meet him. I know some of you have, but he, he's a great mentor, a great leader in the organization, and he's really, he's really pulled this, uh, this uh, you know, veterans team together. And, and then along with all of our other members of the board, uh, we have an outstanding board. Uh, we've had a consistent board for about three and a half, four years with COVID, and we're, we're just we're just so fortunate to, to have all these great employees, uh, veterans that are actually on the board, and, and the other volunteers. They don't get paid to do that job; they do it out of the, the passion and the, the dedication of the service. And then, and then we couldn't we as a as Qualcomm Veterans Board, we couldn't do all the work that we do successfully without including diverse. Um, it used to be under Vicki Mueller, and now it's under Glenn Williams. So thanks for support for all the the advocacy and just helping us through some of the some of the processes and, and improvements that we've made over the years. And 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 I think that's why we ended up winning the award. As you can tell, we have a, a huge team, and and we all work together. And then um, and uh, Noreen Kinsler and Mike Sapos and and Erica Martinez and on all the people that are on our board. They're, they're such great people. And then, and last but not least, uh, he's no longer our, our executive champion, but we had a, a champion that was a prior enlisted I seaman. His name is Brian Modoff. He's now an executive senior vice president for uh, mergers and acquisitions. He's actually transitioning out of that job. And uh, I think he's got, 
uh, you know, he's going on to other, other great things, but he was really important in building uh, Qualcomm and making a relationship with ESGR and and uh, and getting some of the ACERA documents signed and, and presented it at a lot of our Memorial Day events, et cetera. So uh, as you can tell, we really, really work together and, uh, and and I'm happy to be a part of this this team, not only the Qualcomm team, but also the uh, uh, so that I just wanted to kick off with a lot of thank yous. You know, it's not just me it's it's a, there's a lot of people involved in this and then uh a couple just a couple of things uh, i i look through uh your agenda and 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 i and i'm like you know what should i, what should I talk about here and and i think there was a couple of recommendations that i got and i'll just spend a couple of minutes talking about that the uh, a couple of reasons you know why i'm why i'm in front of you and, and and so there's three things that i wanted to talk about one what what are the, some of the challenges that that reservists or garden employees have with the with with our employers, if you will, and and how does ESGR help those uh, those in, in in working some of those solutions and and to 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 rid or or mitigate the challenges? So I'm going to go over that, and then I'm going to you know what are the benefits of having reservists and guard members in the companies, and and what's the benefit not only to the to the sailors or the guardsmen or the the troops out there, but what are the what's the benefit to the company itself? Um, and, and the nation, why is it important that we work together? And then the last one is, you know, what are some of the opportunities that I've personally seen, and and then what other companies can see? And and again, these aren't these aren't all the answers. These are these are from Rob Nowakowski's perspective, and, and I'm sure a lot of the members sitting in the audience that, that are in the same position I am, um, and probably even have even even more. But but this is a, this is why I love working at Qualcomm, and I love working with ESGR, and, and I like being a Navy reservist. Uh, so here it goes. I'm going to give you a couple of challenges, some benefits, and opportunities, and I'll try to make this quick. But one, and these aren't any in priority order. One is, you know, some of the challenges that I personally have, and some of our reservists uh, have, or guardsmen have in the in the, you know, at Qualcomm specifically, it's just you know the policies. Sometimes the policies for the company don't match the requirements for, for the Navy or the Army as far as commitment goes. Uh, an example would be, you know, as a flag, when I first started at Qualcomm, you know, the commitment was like two weeks a year. Well, as a flag officer, as you can see, I've been on leave of absence for a year. <laughs> so, and, and, I, and I don't just do two weeks a year and I'm not on mobilization orders. I do probably five, six, seven weeks a year. So, you know, there's, there's you know, some policy, uh, you know, reviews and, you know, some, some things that need to be really worked out with the company and there needs to be communication back and forth continually. And, and yeah, I learned the hard way a couple of times. And, and the bottom line is Qualcomm has been amazing. They've changed some of their policies over the years. Actually, my military commitment is part of my performance goals, you know, based on some feedback that I've got during third party reviews. And, and so there's some challenges with policy. Um, you know, on the IT side, an example, you know, they they used to, you know, Qualcomm used to cut off your IT access after two weeks, and it would take you a couple more days when you got back off your annual training to get the to get the access back. Well, I'm not actually on an IT waiver right now. I've been on an IT waiver for a year, and, and Qualcomm lets me read emails. Um, I'm on a request only basis, and and I can only reply and and do work upon request based on a specific project from my boss. So it's good to keep in the loop with the company, but it, it's a challenge. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. It's it's a challenge, especially in a high tech company that changes uh, pretty frequently. The other, the other big challenge is just time commitment itself and, and trying to balance your commitments as you re reach higher up in the organization, um, both in the military and, and also with, uh, with the company. Usually, you know, we're gung-ho, we, everybody wants to do good jobs and sometimes, you know, you can't be perfect at everything you do. So there's, there's some expectation management that has to happen. And, and a lot of that, you know, is just communication with, 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 the, with your employer, your peers, getting ESGR, maybe uh, some recommendations from them, but just making sure that the communication uh, ties are, uh, are, are really tight. Um, again, I, it's been, it's been a challenge over the last 24 years with me because I've, I've, you know, been promoted, you know, a couple times, but, and I've actually changed jobs five times in company in the company because my responsibilities have changed with my Navy career. So that's kudos on, on the company for allowing me to do that. You know, we're lucky we're a large company. We can actually do that. But for some of the smaller companies, you may or may not be able to do that. So that's a whole other challenge. Um, you know, and so again, on, on the time commitment, you know, traveling on Fridays to get to Tampa from San Diego and then coming back on, you know, on a late flight on Sundays and being exhausted on Mondays. It's not, I'm not whining or complaining. It's just what it is or what it is. And, you know, my boss was always saying, hey, Rob, just take Monday off. But the bottom line is that you got to get the liberals done. So those, those are some challenges that are just real. And then the last one is just the just you, you, you know, keeping all your connections and keeping even keeled at work. You know, there's there's different 
political views within every organization. Some are pro military, some are not pro military, some are neutral. It's just, you know, keeping a steady neutral and, and making sure that you're not causing disruption in the company. Those are, you know, a couple of the challenges that I wrote down and, um, and I'm sure there's more, but I just wanted to keep it kind of brief. The, 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 on the positive side, on the benefits, you know, there's actually a lot of benefits. Um, one is not only for the, the person, but also for the company. I mean, we're force multipliers. I am not a surface warfare officer at Qualcomm, and nor am I a quality management uh, professional at uh, in the Navy. So the bottom line is, you know, the, the, the Qualcomm, they gain a lot of my experience and my uh, uh, surface warfare and organizational skills and and uh, and systems and processes and tools and on the converse you know i learn a lot from qualcomm on you know techniques of of, of making uh, uh you know uh, training and process improvement initiatives and, and learning a different culture and how to be innovative and how to be agile so so there's there's a lot of uh, benefits on the, on the not only the employee but but actually on the company itself and and I, we call that force multiplying you know the company gets a lot from me and I get a lot from the company and, and bottom line is we all leverage on one another so that's that's one of the benefits that I saw the two is uh, just different attributes that the company gets from from a military person you know pretty most of us are I would think pretty structured and disciplined and we like to show up on time and we we follow orders and you know, uh, but, but there's a challenge to that. You know, sometimes there's maybe a lack of innovation on people that just follow orders too much and questioning. But, but I would say it's to me, it's an overall benefit. We add a lot of value to the company for for our organizational leadership skills and you know timeliness and discipline and 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 stuff like that. Um, the other one is just uh, uh, marketing and advertising on both ends too. So, you know, when I go around, Qualcomm's so great. I talk so highly of Qualcomm. I'm kind of marketing and recruiting Qualcomm while I'm giving an all hands brief and people ask me questions about what I do in civilian world. I use Qualcomm uh, rec, uh, examples. So I'm literally almost like free marketing, free mar advertising for Qualcomm. So that's a huge benefit. And then on the opposite side, uh, getting, getting Qualcomm people in the company, I have a huge network of people that could potentially have skill sets that are around the world that I meet with from the Navy that, or other you know, army or uh, coast guard or space force or Marines, they could be a potential candidate at Qualcomm. And uh, we brought many, many people in and, 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 and interviewed them through the Qualcomm veterans team, brought them up to Brian Modoff. And, and in fact, we've hired a couple of people over the last you know, five, six years through, uh, through veteran connections. So there's a huge benefit. Um, and then utilizing ESGR, uh, they've got a huge network. I mean, you guys know that there's a, there's a huge network. And you know, every time I talk to Harold, I meet somebody new and he knows somebody that knows somebody that has that skill set. It's just amazing uh, the connections that that uh, that we bring to one another, and I think um, that's a trend not only in the challenges of getting connections, but also in the benefits um, as well. So, so marketing, advertising, or recruiting connections is 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 a huge benefit on both ends. Um, and as well, like if I know somebody at Qualcomm that's looking for another opportunity somewhere. I probably know a couple hundred or people that are in reserve units that do things that they may be looking for a job as well. And I'm not trying to steal people from Qualcomm. It's a great company, but they may have an upward mobilization uh, 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 or, a, or a job progression opportunity. And I might know something that they want to get into, you know, in another country or state or a huge benefit as well. Um, and then, and the last one on opportunities, and I, and I think I'll probably run out of time is, um, a couple of the opportunities are, hey, you know, I've been working at Qualcomm for a long time and I've leveraged a lot of things that ESGR has given me and it's made my relationship with my boss better. For instance, you know, the summer NERI events um, and ESGR is there and driven by Res4, but, but ESGR is a big part of that. But, but just the opportunity to recognize my employer. Um, kind of get choked up about it, but, you know, my, I just, you really utilize the tools that ESGR has to recognize not only my employer, but other people throughout the company and for the great job that they do supporting us. Um, and also not only the employer, but the, but the spouses, you know, get recognition as well. So, so I think that's a huge opportunity and that's a huge benefit of ESGR is just giving us the opportunity as reserves to, to really highlight how important it is for our employer to support us because it's a two way street, you know, um, we couldn't do it without them. They, some of these businesses wouldn't be in operation without the military as well. That's what they, that's what their business is, is to support the military. So it's a two way street, the way I look at it. 
Um, so thank you, ESGR, for, for that, for providing the opportunity for us to recognize our employer and, uh, you know, making them feel valued in the, in the, in the, in the supply chain or the, in the national security, because some of them want to actually join, but they were never able to join. And, uh, and being recognized from the military, become part military, the way I look at it. And then, um, you know, another huge opportunity is just the diversity and inclusion and, and just having a lot of veterans in the organization. It, it's, it's, it's great. There's a, a wide variety of people and skill sets in the military, uh, every race, color. You know, it's just amazing what the, what the military will bring to uh, an organization and, 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 in, in cla and includes in our innovation and our and inclusion and diversity uh, aspects. And I know that's something that's really important for Qualcomm. And, and I know it's, I'm, I'm sure it's really important for the other companies that, that receive the awards as well. But just getting the talent and the skill set and, you know, the, the different perspectives of people and, um, you know, every every organization has a different culture, whether it be the military, Army, Navy, even within the culture, we have subcultures and we have that at Qualcomm, too. So just having that different perspective drives innovation. And and that's what Qualcomm is all about is this the uh, uh, culture of excellence or culture of innovation is what we do. So that's a huge opportunity is you're just increasing the the amount of diversity, inclusion and and just the the veteran and veteran supporters that we have uh, in, in the company, and then and then last but not least, uh, from a time perspective, is just again back on the, you know, the opportunities always the talent management and getting not only reserves or active duty guard and reserve into the Qualcomm. I mean, what a great opportunity. ESGR provides us for setting up different events where we can meet different people and you know helping us. Uh, uh, connect with another organization or even be in this event right now. I, I mean, if I were there, I'd be connecting with people from, from, uh, you know, Cisco and, and East Bay municipal and, 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 and you never know when we're going to leverage and need one another in some f uh, form or another, whether it be uh, just daily operations or, Hey, maybe when, 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 uh, when war happens and we need to, we need to partner and, and come up with some interesting solutions to, to win. So, but anyway, just, just uh, getting good talent in is a, is a huge opportunity. And, and I think the military brings that. Um, I've also had many, many discussions with Harold about, um, you know, he hooked me up with many points of contact across, uh, you know, the Navy and the Air Force and the Marines and, you know, going down and hooking me up with the Marine Corps recruiting district when I was a Navy recruiter or bringing me up to Camp Pendleton and talking to, you know, the general or, or some of the colonels up there to see how we can leverage on some of their processes that, that can maybe help, help the Navy. I mean, the huge connections and uh, I can go on and on. And, and with that, I, uh, those are my notes. I had, uh, I had a couple pages of notes. I didn't want to read anything specifically, but I wanted to get you my thoughts on how, how we, myself, Qualcomm, ESGR, the nation are all working together to uh, to get the job done at the end of the day. So thank you. And and I think that's all I got, unless anyone has any questions for me. But thank you. And, and I hope lunch is good. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me.